chapter 16 turns our attention to the Catholic epistles. I think it's important to stress here the contextual nature of New Testament writings. We saw when looking at Paul's letters that he writes to individual congregations or all the congregations that are in a single city. When we get to the Catholic epistles, instead of writing to single churches, these writings address regions. So we see some developments in the way the church is structured. It's now seen to have much firmer connections among churches than it once had. At the same time, we see a different vision of the apostles. In addition to having a broader audience, there's also a difference in the way that these writings view the apostles. While Paul had to argue for the positions he takes in his letters, the writings that we have here assume that something in the name of an apostle will carry authority. And so they're now recognized as the people that you look to to determine what's correct Christian teaching. It's also important to note that these writings see themselves as over against the world. That is, their values are in conflict with the values of the world. Now, most scholars would say that actually these churches are uh, more implicated in the culture of the times than the first generations of Christians were. Still, these writings see themselves as in a difficult place in relation to those who are around them. One of the things we continue to see in this set of writings is that beliefs within the early church continue to be diverse. Here at the beginning of the second century we can have a book like Hebrews say that Christians should make sure that they don't begin to adopt practices from Judaism while the writer of Jude can say Christians should keep the law. We also see problems arising that did not arise in the first generation of Christians. For example, docetism. It was hard to claim that Jesus didn't have a physical body when there were eyewitnesses. But now that they are gone, some within the church are arguing that Jesus didn't have a real physical body, that he was simply divine. First John is written in the name of the Apostle John to counter just that belief and to give eyewitness testimony. There are also changes in the way eschatology is dealt with here. Now these writings focus much more attention on the certainty of the coming act of God rather than on the timing of that act. So we see developments that suggest we're at a later time in the history of the church with new issues and new questions arising. But still, these writings reflect the struggle within the church to interpret life. They try to offer the best, the proper, beliefs and practices for those who hold this faith.